Hey, what's up, YouTube and fellow YouTubers? This is Shadow Fox4562 here um, with the ban list predictions or my ban list predictions for um, the March 2012 ban list for Yu Gi Oh! Um, first off, I'd like to start off by saying that um, some of the cards I don't have, I'm going to try and do my best to provide you with the cards I do have to show you uh, for those of you who don't know what they are. Uh, secondly, this is totally, you know, my opinion. I haven't looked at any forums lately. I'm kind of out of it, but um, I've been playing some some meta decks around Charleston, and I've been seeing what what's really been rocking people and what needs to get hit. So, all right. Um, first, I'm gonna do the banned cards. Uh, cards I think are gonna be taken from the game completely. Um, first card is BLS. Um, BLS is just way too good. Like he can be running almost any deck right now. Um, he he's he's a game winner. Like late game, you know you you can top deck into him and you can summon him. He's just and even if you know you have a huge field presence, you can always summon him and get rid of any monster or attack twice and just do do really massive damage to your opponent. Um, next card is Dandelion. Uh, Dandelion is just he's a lot of the plant engine uh, him and lone fire together um, but I think he would hurt more just because you don't get tokens and you don't get to do crazy combos off of spore and stuff as much um, yeah lone fire would hurt but you could still put in monsters to replace lone fire to get uh, dandy to the grave um, third card I think is gonna be banned since um, since Japan doesn't have tour guides obviously and they don't hit stuff that they don't have Clearly, with like Tengu and you know Tor Guide and stuff like that, um, is Sengen. Uh, Sengen is really broken, uh, just because he's another searchable. Not because you know he searches monsters so much, because he's been around for a long time doing that. But just because he's another searchable target for Tor Guide, um, and taking away that one target would kind of slow down the engine. You could really only use one Tor Guide per game instead of two. Um, so I think taking him away from them, since they can't take away one tour guide, um, is probably the best move for them. Um, on to the semi-limits. Um, wind-up carriers and matey. Um, this kind of makes the whole wind-up deck go off, really. You summon him, you get another rat to get back shark, and you get another one of this guy, and you just keep doing him until you have five monsters on the field. Uh, so putting him to one would kind of slow down the deck and make them think about their plays instead of auto-playing. Uh, so I think this needs to be limited. Um, second card is Insector Hornet. Uh, it would just kind of slow down the deck a little bit and make it more of a level playing field for everyone because more more than one of him, yeah, you only need one, but he is just insane at three. Uh, excuse me. The card I don't have that I think is going to become unbanned is Dark Magician of Chaos. Dark Magician of Chaos would not really do anything for us. No one likes tributing. Uh, the only way you'd really be able to use him is just to special summon him. And there's not really a good card in the game right now in any of the competitive decks that would benefit off him. Uh, so I think he can come back. And also the fact that he's getting reprinted in the battle pack, it... it uh, it makes sense to me. Um, Semi-limited cards are going to be Kalut the Moon Shadow. Um, I think Kalut, you know, it just... It's one of those cards, or one of those decks that no one plays anymore, uh, Black Wings. And I think that Black Wings could really benefit off this guy. Like, they don't get played at all. So I think Kalut to 2 would help them. Uh, the second card to go to 2 is... Um, Gladiator Beast Beast Diary. No one plays that deck either. It's a good deck, but it's just not fast enough or competitive enough. And drawing into the one Beast Diary is a real pain. So, um, two. And finally, for the unlimited card, um, I was just kind of scouring my mind, you know, thinking of what card could they possibly take off the semi limit list that wouldn't make anything great, but it would, um, it would hurt, or it wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, to bring it back, um, and the only card I could come up with was D-Draw. Um, no one plays D-Draw, no one plays the D-Draw engine, 
No one plays Ab Zero anymore, so D draw to three would be okay, I think. Um, and finally, guys, I'd like to talk about one more thing. Um, one of the limited cards, or one of the banned cards that I think um, they should get rid of, I don't think they will, but I think they should, is Future Fusion. Um, fu future Fusion or Fusion Gate? Fusion Gate to one or Future Fusion to zero? Because E Heroes, like, they're not winning anything right now, but they're really, really good. And wait till their Dark Fusion comes out. And then they'll super poly and get rid of your field. And then fusion gate, fusion gate, fusion gate for game. Um, Alright, well, it's been nice. And comment, rate, subscribe down below and up above the yellow button. Always appreciated. And I will talk to you later. Peace.